It is Tuesday, and we have the Tuesday Transformer here. We have Hound Butt before we get it to play. Uh, this, it's Halloween, so all you're going to be going out trick-or-treating. Stay safe out there. Kids, listen to your parents. Parents, pay attention to those kids. And remember to have your parents check those candies before you eat them. And remember, share them with your parents, too. Anyway, so I just wanted to say we got we kept the Halloween theme from yesterday with the Halloween um, bandana here. So happy Halloween to everybody as you're watching this on Halloween because it's Transformer Tuesday. And Halloween happens to be on a Tuesday. So there you have it, people, right there. We have Hound from the original Transformers. It's not the original 1980s one. I don't have Hound from the 80s. I wish I did. Oh, I'll completely forget it. That and people, please hit that subscribe. You've hit it so much already, but I just want to reach that thousand and then go further than that, of course. Thank you guys so much for doing this and helping me out. The channel is going and getting up there, and I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much, like always. So here we see we have Hound. Got Optimus and Bumblebee in the back. We did all Autobot since we have an Autobot. And he was one of my favorite, one of my favorites in the show. Of course, Optimus is number one, but he was one of my favorites in the show. So I really like that we got this one. It's a little bit, it, it's, like I said, the 80s ones, the vehicles were cooler, but the, 90, the 2000s, um, the robot or Autobot, whatever you want to say mode is way better and of course the stickers so we'll get in that to a second we got jazz funko pop over there so let's take a little looky at the box first before we get into it there you see right there is everything right there and there so and there we have rods air this is the vehicle almost forgot we didn't take the weapons out because we didn't want my son to lose them so there is the weapons inside the box. I'll just take that off to the side now. We don't need that anymore. So we got that there. And then we have our little booklet right there. And as you can see, you know, like I always say, pause and you will see if you need to see something right there. You know, you may buy it without instructions, you may lose your instructions, or you just want to take a look at the instructions. I find them interesting. The artwork is kind of cool, like the box. So I always find them interesting. That's why I show them. So there you have right there. We'll get into the vehicle. He is in military Jeep, if you will, I guess. If we can get it to focus. And like I said, the newer ones are cool because it's painted on the Autobots. It's not stickers. The old ones, the stickers came off after a while when we were kids. So it wasn't all that great. As you can see right there, I this Jeep I do like. It's kind of a more modern Jeep, kind of like a almost like a Hummer than a Jeep Jeep. But you know, it's still got the essence and the coolness of Hound. And I forgot to say he's from the Siege War for Cybertron series right there, which we've been doing a lot of lately. Hopefully, you watched last week when we showed that cool exclusive t shirt that comes with the Rise of the Beast. Funko Pop, that was really nice. My son's already wearing the shirt, so that was cool. I was gonna get a matching shirt, but it's all good. One's enough. So as you can see right there, everything right there. Now, when you transform him, I would go first at, as you can see right here, there's a little, um, little click thing right here. A little notch, if you will, right there. I would release that first just because it makes it easier. Pick up these little pieces right here. And it basically folds down on itself in a way. So I would spread these out. I would get the arms. Well, these kind of... I, they came off earlier too. Just give me a second while I put this back on. So this is one of my gripes with the newer Transformers as my light goes out there. This is my gripe with the newer Transformers. Well, we're gonna do that without that light now because it doesn't want to stay on. So 
So that is my problem with the newer Transformers though. I don't like how the plastic pieces just decide to randomly pop off. And it really affects you when you're doing this. As I try to get it to go back in place. There I have it, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry about that, peoples. So I would bring these down like that. You don't have to fully fold them and fold that out of the way, of course. It kind of folds out like that. And then over here, you would fold these out. This whole piece comes popping down. This comes up. You can fold the other part of the Jeep in like that. His head automatically comes out. So that you don't have to take care of. And then this over here, it kind of folds in on itself. And then that forms the feet. So the feet are right there, but this will fold in. You got a little notch right there. And that goes like that and like that. Then over here, like I said, over here and over here. So that would come over here. And this, as you can see, kind of clips into the little notches right here. It's got like a little slit in it to click it in place. So that you have Hound over there. You know what? Since that spotlight wants to go all kooky, we could use this one for now. There we go. That works, right? Spotlight, camera light, whatever you want to call it. So we'll just use that for now and move that out of the way until we can put batteries in that one. So as you can see right there, and I don't know why that flipped back down. Well, it doesn't want to stay in place. That's what it is. Or does it? Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. It actually flips down and then like that. That's why it kept falling out. Because as you can see, it fits in right there. And that way you would put the gun in when he is in his Jeep Hummer, whatever the heck you want to call it. Because honestly, does that look like a Jeep Jeep? Looks more like a Hummer to me. And Hummers are military, so let me just see here. So that would go, yeah. I just want to make sure I got the legs perfect and right before I go into saying stuff. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of the battle damage there. Not as much as the other ones. So you do still have that battle damage, that little glass over here. It looks like the glass will come out separately, but I don't want to mess with it. Anyway, so there you have it right there, as you can see. His head right there. Get a close-up of all the basic parts of him and with the movement articulation you do have leg articulation hip the feet uh not so much the feet are kind of just there so as you can see knees hips over here you got the shoulders you got the elbows he does do the twist so he is a twister as you can see right there the head, no movement at all, kind of. But there you have it. I Like I said, the vehicle mode of these are not all that great. And the joints, as nice as, you know, with the 80s, the vehicle and the joints. As far as the robot, much cooler, much nicer. You can pose them in so many different ways. I guess that's the drawback of the pieces. When you get into something like this. There is a few of the newer ones that are kind of metal. So it kind of matches up to the old style. But that's what you have here. He's able to move. And all that fun stuff as you can see right there. So there you have it people. That is Hound from the Siege War for Cybertron. And like always people. But before we go since as we had Halloween and I said in the beginning, please everybody have a happy and safe Halloween. Stay safe out there, everybody. And like always, have a great, great day, people. And thank you again so much for everything you have done. I really mean it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.